All right, hey everyone, and welcome to another vlog. So uh, it's been a while since the last um, Optiplex build uh, update. So uh, yeah, here it is right here. And uh, yeah, it's definitely seen uh, better days because it's gone through several, uh, several, several revisions. I've had to, I actually, I replaced just about every single component inside. Hang on, let me, uh, let me get it out of this, uh, this spot right here. All right, so here it is. Uh, I got the front the front plate uh, right here. Um, the uh, DVD drive uh, it, that's gone. <laughs> that's it's long gone. So yeah, here's uh, what I've done inside. So in here, um, it's a complete mess because there's no uh, backside to like route all the cables. So everything's just kind of jumbled up here in the middle. Yeah, I could have used I could have used cable ties to like to like <laughs> like like. To, like hide hide away all the cables and stuff but like and uh, this is this is kind of like a whatever build <laughs> so yeah uh got a new b560 um m uh wi-fi motherboard there and it's got 11 11th gen um core core i5 11 400 yeah 11 400 f so yeah uh it's got stock cooler uh i did want to use get in like an aio for it but like there's no there's like nowhere in here to like mount a radiator so I just stuck. I just stuck with the um, with the stock cooler for now. Like uh, maybe when when I um, in the future I'll I'll get a bit better cooling solution for that. So GPU same old same as last time. Uh, 1050 Ti. Uh, I'm saving up to get oops, saving up to get a um, a better card in the future. Uh, for storage uh, for boot drive, it's I got a new Gen 4. Um, hang on, I got the box right here. Huh? Uh, WD Black, uh, it's a one terabyte SSD. Um, it's actually faster than the drive that I have in my main PC right now, so I don't know. Maybe I should have swapped my other drive with this. I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and it's got the it's got the previous previously used um, one terabyte Crucial um, uh, SATA SSD and a, an old fashioned one terabyte hard drive. So. Three terabytes of uh, storage in total for this for this rig. So yeah. Also, I forgot to mention uh, 16 gigs of G Skill uh, uh, RAM. Uh, I didn't I didn't go overboard. I just stuck to like the sweet spot of 16 gigs. So yeah, there it is. So guys, uh, I've been like debating whether or not I should um, keep it in this chassis, uh, this this build in particular, because um. Yeah, while it's it's a nice novelty to have an old Opiplex as like a sort of like a sleeper build, uh, I'll be honest, uh, it didn't quite go as I was hoping. Like um, like aesthetic aesthetically, um, I w wish I could have done. I wish I could have done a little bit better. Like especially with like the power button. Like I tried to like solder on a new power button and like I glued it on with like the the attention span of a caveman so i don't know uh yeah i was debating whether or not i should like just probably get a new case and well i did so uh this case it's a uh it's by a company called that <laughs> and uh it's a brufen c3 it's an atx uh style um style case so yeah let's open it oh yes and I went with the Intel colors. I went with blue and white. Uh, boy, cannot wait to like check this out. All right. Let's get you over here. Come on, get out of your home. Get out of your home. Woo. All right. All right. So it seems to survive the trip. Uh, the box didn't look like it went through went through any, any like knife bites or whatever. Look at that! Whew. Look at that right there! Oh my god! Whew. That looks cool. I've I've never had a white case before, but yeah, that looks so freaking awesome. Look at that! I think it's. Almost the same size as my main PC. It's like it's, it's the same ATX like style configuration or like size, whatever. So yeah. Uh, even though the 
the motherboard I have is MATX. Uh, it it is gonna look a little bit tiny in there, so yeah, not a big issue. Uh, it, this is like kind of like a whatever build, so like yeah. This case was actually on sale. It was about like forty bucks um, from the time from the time that I bought it. So yeah, this for forty dollars, like not bad. All right, gotta do it. Gotta do the peel. Uh, come on, catch it, catch it. There we go. Oh, that's so satisfying. All right, so what's interesting about this case is that it actually has uh, an internal fan for the back of the motherboard itself. So I've no, I don't think I've ever seen that on a, on a case before. And what's cool is that it does come with its own 120 mil uh, exhaust fan. So uh, I do have some other fans that I, that I have spare for like the for the front uh for the in, front intake so it looks like it's got some ventilation here so, here so it won't be choked off that that much all right so yeah let's open let's open this up and let's get every old com every um not old but like you know what I mean every oh my god oh. everything out of here and swap them over do the old switcheroo so let's get that done all right, graphics card, out. Storage, out. All right, got every uh, extra cable and front panel stuff disconnected. Ah, that poor Be Quiet fan. And power supply, out. All right, and if I could just wiggle this out of here. Oh, come on, get out, get out of there, get out of there. There we go. Motherboards, CPU, and RAM out of there. Okay, so now there's just the question of what do I do with that? Well, if anyone wants an old Optiplex chassis that's all beat to hell, uh, technically does not have a power switch, you'll have to solder one on. Um, DM me? Anyone wants this? I don't know. <laughs> all right, now it's time to put all of this stuff into the new into the new case. So, um, I wanted to upgrade my uh, my graphics card, and that's where this guy comes in. So, actually, this was a, a card that I got uh, back in March. It's, it's a Radeon um, RX sixty seven hundred XT. Uh, it was a pretty good card. I got it for um, like. It was I got it for like seven hundred dollars I think, or like it was like seven hundred dollars with shipping, uh, back in March. Um, it was it's a pretty it was a pretty decent card up until the point where the drivers kept like shitting the bed and saying adios every like month or so. So like I don't know like I made and I made sure to clear the old drivers uh, out of, out of the system before installing new drivers and it always. Every now and then, it would always um, the drivers would always crash and it'd end up making my game my games crash and stuff. So I ultimately said, you know what, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it out. And what I have back in my system is my old uh, 3060, which is uh, what I'm still running now to this day. Um, so I'm I, I'm I'm all right with having my old card card back. So I'm gonna um, put this card now into this new system so it actually does fit it's a it's a three it's a three fan card so yeah so i'm gonna but i am gonna use this for now just just to like because this uh cpu um is an f skew and it doesn't have um its own uh integrated graphics so i'm gonna i'm just gonna use this for now just so i can clear the drivers and then we can install that later on so you you'll still have your time to shine little buddy all right, and with that, let's get going. All right, motherboard, CPU, and RAM installed. Power supply, check. All right, so I got the CPU power and motherboard uh, power uh, connected, and I, I even installed an another fan for the front intake. So I actually have to get going, because I, I have my uh, my firefighter training at 7.30, and I have to, I have to be there uh, like at seven o'clock-ish, so. I will get back to this later. All right, and I am back, and it is 
Oh boy. All right, so I connected the, the fans, uh, front panel USB, HD audio. Uh, hopefully I did that all correctly. I got the manual right here. So yeah, on to the next. All right, hard drive and SSD all connected. Uh, tried to cable manage as, as good as I can. It's pretty late. <laughs> all right, and everything else is connected. Uh, graphics cards in. Uh, I made sure all the fans and the fan headers and stuff, everything, everything's all wired up. So let's just put the panel back on. Uh, not the front panel, but the back one. Uh, and let's try and plug it in. It's getting late. All right, so I just plugged it in. Uh, there's already some motherboard LED lights going on, so yeah, here's nothing. Oh boy, look at that. All right, now will it post? Will it post? Please post. <laughs> I did connect everything back there, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Uh, it's posted in safe mode. That's because I just migrated to a new chassis but look at that look at that it's so cool uh f10 yes save changes go can't believe it it works it freaking works god that's so cool and i think you can yeah you can change the colors Sweet, I'm gonna leave it in blue for in, for Intel. Sweet, that is that is nice. Yeah, it's got like and it's got RGB for the exhaust fan, so yeah, that's cool. And is the other fan I got at work? Yep, that's working. All right, sweet, and it posted really quick. Nice, nice. All right, and everything uh, is um, thankfully intact, so. Nothing in the, in the BIOS got changed, so uh, RAM's running at its RAID speed. We've got SSD one, SSD number two, and the hard drive, and of course, 1050 Ti, which is gonna go bye bye. Uh, <laughs> I'll 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 do that in a future video, but like for now, I'll take the victory. So yeah, woo! Can't believe it. it looks so freaking cool. What does it look like from over here? All right. Nice, and I got it done before midnight. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up because I I made a mess. Uh, I got work in the morning, so I've got like, five hours tops at, at most for sleep tonight. So yeah, see you guys next time. Peace.